Wednesday evening, fans, and welcome to tonight's edition of Hockey Talk. I'm Bob Crawford, and alongside is Whale defenseman Steve Eminger. And Steve, first point, a Whale uniform on Sunday, a huge goal in what turned out to be a 3-2 win. A great finish by you. It looked like a terrific pass by Brandon Siegel. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, it was a great win to cap off a great weekend. Uh, and Siegs made a great play. Um, you know, he took it wide. He he, uh, you know, threw a nice flat pass, and um, you know, I put it in. For you coming down to the AHL and, and playing as much as you have in all situations for the Whale, obviously that's the idea on a conditioning stint when you haven't played a ton with New York. And I'm sure it feels good to get out there so much, but uh, is it a challenge as well? Yeah, it is. I mean, I haven't played a three and three for a while, so um, you know, back to back is hard enough. But uh, you know, yeah, that, that, that's that was the whole point of me coming down here was to. You know, play as much as I can in all situations, and uh, you know, so far it's worked out well. And the Rangers uh, seem to like to uh, keep some extra D men around, have some depth on the blue line, and uh, that's tough, obviously, when you're the guy who's the odd man out. But uh, as things go forward, uh, from your experience the last couple of years, I'm sure you're confident that your time's going to come. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to stay ready, and uh, coming down this conditioning stint is, uh, you know, it's perfect because you know you could practice so much and skate after practice for for so long but uh to actually be in games is uh y you know that's a bonus so uh yeah you know i know i know my time will come and you know you don't want injuries to happen but injuries are part of the game and um you know just shuffling the lineup as well and with the way things have shaken out with the the lockout the the short season the compact schedule and, and the rangers being a team that's uh, got a lot of expectations on their shoulders having gone to game six of the conference finals last year what's the atmosphere like around the rangers right now that's pretty good i, I know uh, it was a tough loss yesterday but uh i mean the, the last five or six games it's been a you know pretty good record so i mean there, there's no time to you know kind of dwell on that loss and um, you know, they're going to get right back on it on the road with two big games. So, um, you know, I know the atmosphere is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a positive mood with the leaders they have in there. So, um, you know, they'll be fine. And bringing in some more scoring over the offseason uh, with the addition of Rick Nash. And, and it seemed to, when the, you got to the end of the playoffs last year, uh, the, getting the goals was, was a real tough road to hoe. It always is in playoffs. But uh, so far with the addition of, of Nash this year, do you feel like it's a, it's a more potent team as far as finishing plays? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, he's one of the top wingers in the league, uh, you know, players in the league. So uh, when, when you have a player like that on your team, he makes a lot of plays out of nothing sometimes. And, uh, you know, not too many players could do that. So, uh, you know, he, he's been a welcome addition to our team. The guys that have come up through the whale the last uh, year or two, it, it's been a real development pipeline. Guys have stepped in there and, uh, and really contributed. Uh, does that send uh, kind of a jolt of energy through the whole locker room when uh, a young guy comes in and really plays well? Yeah, it does. I, I know last year it was Haglin and John Mitchell. They came, and I think that's what sparked a big winning streak for us. So, uh, yeah, you know, um, Miller got his chance this year, and I know Kreider here a little bit. But um, yeah, anytime you, that youth comes with that with that spark, you know, they always have a little more jump in their steps. So, um, you know, it, it's always a welcome. Uh, you know, you know, we they're always welcome to the team, and you know, it's been a good it's been a good ride for them. And it's been a long time between AHL stints for you. Last time you were in this league was the last lockout year, 2004-05. Obviously, you were a lot younger then, but do you feel like the league has changed at all? Um, yeah, yeah, like you said, last lockout. Uh, you know, it was good at that time because no one was in the NHL, so it was a pretty competitive league as it is now. Uh, you know, the, I think sometimes this league gets, I mean, underestimated. Uh, you know, it's a re there's a lot of really good players, and, you know, it's really evident with... Um, you know, them going up and, and making an impact right away in the NHL. Steve, thanks a lot for sharing a few minutes here tonight, and all the best of luck to you. Okay, thanks a lot. That's the Whale, Steve Eminger, and that's tonight's edition of Hockey Talk. Enjoy the game.